Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. I've been asked how can you increase the frames per second on Battlegrounds when I've not got a very powerful computer? Well there are a couple of things you can do before launching the game in Windows to help increase frames per second such as getting the latest and up to date drivers for your graphics card if you've got an AMD head on over to this website here and download now for the latest graphics card drivers or if you've got an Nvidia head on over to this website here and you can automatically search for the latest graphics card drivers or if you know the model of your graphics card then you can do a manual search I'll put both links in the description below to these two websites but that is the very first step we need to take in order to increase frames per second our second step is if you're running any antivirus program say you've got a fast like I have or AVG anything like that a lot of these programs now actually have a game mode but if the game modes not helping increase that frames per second like going into silent mode for example go on to the fast shields and disable it for say 10 minutes or an hour and see how much that increases the frames per second in your game as antivirus programs when they're running their shields it does require a lot of resources from your computer and this will make your game a little choppy and laggy the next thing to do is go on to our task manager to do this go down to the bottom left hand corner right click and go on to task manager once you're in task manager you can see a massive list of programs that are running on our computer we now need to end the task for any programs that are using a lot of memory. For example, if I just click on memory here, you can see my OBS recorder right now is using 451 meg and it's using 3.9% of my CPU. If I was to end that task by right clicking and just going end task, that will free up a whooping 451 meg of memory and 4% of our CPU which would then go towards battlegrounds to help improve that performance we've got our web browser open you don't need a web browser open when you're playing a game close it that is certainly then free up another 200 meg of memory that is absolutely great we are really starting to free up some RAM to help improve the game because if you've got a old slow computer you're not going to have that much RAM which means every single program that we're running is vital to closing for example here I've got media portal running in the background close it that's 26 meg I can free up I think you get the message here the next thing to do is go to our startup and here there's a list of programs that start up with my computer we could disable for example Windows Defender as I've already got a fast antivirus. I don't need Windows Defender. To do this you can right click on the program and go disable. Here I've got Fafaldi update notifier. I don't need that running in the background. I can right click and disable that as well. Media Portal 2 service monitor don't need that we can disable that and here on the right hand side it gives you an idea of how much of an impact it has on your computer when it's booting up as you can see the Windows Defender and the Fafaldi had a medium impact when launching my machine which means it would be slower at turning on if we go across now and go to our users as you can see here I've currently got my user that I'm logged on to but if you've got another user logged in that would be using extra memory as well. Make sure you've only got one user logged in on your computer at a time when playing games. But if I expand this menu now and I reorganize it to the top most used programs of memory, as you can see, OBS is now using a whopping 600 meg. But this is the same screen that we had just then on our processors. But it's just a bit easier to view if you would prefer to see it like that. The next step is once you've closed down any programs that are unnecessary is to go onto Steam and change the startup for Battlegrounds. To do this you need to launch Steam. 
Once you've launched Steam, we're now going to go to our library and we're going to click on games and we're going to find Battlegrounds. Once you've got Battlegrounds, you now need to right click and go on to properties. Once you've gone on to properties, you need to click on set launch options and you need to paste in the code that's in the description below. Basically, what this code is going to do is the SM4 uses Shader Model 4 instead of Shader Model 5, which will help with FPS. The Use All Available Cores forces Windows to use all our available cores on our machine, and the Malloc system forces the game to use Windows Allocator. Once you've done that, we're going to hit OK, and we're just going to close that down. We're now going to launch Battlegrounds. Once you have launched Battlegrounds, we now need to go to the Settings tab in the top right hand corner. And we're just going to go through our graphics settings. Here we've got our screen mode. You want to have it in full screen as this allows the program to use the most frames per second possible rather than having it in window mode. Our resolution, the lower the resolution, the more frames per second you'll have. For instance, I'm running 1920 by 1080 at the moment. If I set it to 1280 by 720, the game will run a lot faster as it has less work to do on the resolution scale. Next, we've got our quality. As you can see, mine's set to ultra, but you want to unfortunately set it to very low as this will give you the best frames per second possible. You want to have motion blur turned off and fee sync as well, as they will also help increase frames per second. Next, if you really, really are still struggling with frames per second, you can actually turn the screen scale down. I wouldn't turn it down too much though, as this can make the game not look so nice. For example, if you add it all the way down on 70, then the game might look a bit pixelated. But if you were to have it on about, I would say, 85, then the game shouldn't look too bad. That is it as for the graphic settings. If you still are really, really struggling with frames per second in Battlegrounds, then there is only one more option you can try that might help squeeze out a little more frames per second. And that is using a program called Razor Cortex. You can find the link in the description below. Once you clicked on the link, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on the download now button. And we want to go save file. Once it's finished downloading, we can now run the setup file. You now need to press next. I accept next and we want to go next again. Once it is finished installing, you now need to restart your machine. Once your computer is restarted, you now need to open up Razer Cortex and you need to sign in. If you don't already have an account, then you can create a free account. As soon as you've logged in, you'll notice that Razer Cortex is already scanning your computer for all the games you have. Once it's finished doing this, you can go across to the Game Booster tab up the top here. As you can see here, we can press Optimize to configure some tweaks. But first, let's go on to Configure. And you'll see these are the tweaks that Razer Cortex wants to do. If you're happy with these tweaks, then you can go ahead and press Optimize. And then press OK. You will need to restart your computer for those effects to take place. We can now press the back arrow up the top here. If we now press configure for the boost option. Here's a list of all the processes that are currently running on our machine. If we scroll down, you'll see I've got OBS there. If I was to tick this box, then when I launch again, it will automatically turn off OBS, 
which is a really great feature. It means that I don't have to keep closing down all the programs before I launch a game. I can simply have it shut down, for example here, Cortina as well, which would save me 138 meg. I can have it automatically shut down Infidia Share, which is going to save me yet again another 100 meg there, which is absolutely great. If we go across to our services, here's a list of all the services it will disable when we launch a game. We've also got our window services. I don't need the iPod service to run when I'm playing the game. I can have that disabled. I don't need this Apple service as well to be running. Then also you've got others here. For example, you can have your game launch in a game desktop mode. It basically means that Windows, if you were to all in tab when you're in game, there won't be a Windows. It will just be the game itself. That will make a massive impact in your frames per second. I highly recommend selecting that. Here we go. As you can see, it says activate game desktop only when running games from Razer Cortex. This option will automatically disable when performing a manual boost are you sure you want to enable okay that's fine that means that you can't actually have that enabled when you just run a manual boost as like i said it basically disables windows desktop here you can also have explorer.exe shutdown as well which will make a huge impact in frames per second as well and it's as simple as that if we now go back to our games and we were to launch battlegrounds then it will automatically run that boost simply by pressing play and there you go as you can see it's freeing up all our memory and running everything there and that's about all you can do when it comes to improving frames per second for Battlegrounds or any other game. I hope this tutorial's helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.